Kamala Harris agree and the economy was better under Trump and discuss Biden's economy. Let's get into it. One of your campaign themes is we're not going back. But I wonder what you say to voters who do want to go back when it comes to the economy specifically, because their groceries were less expensive, housing was more affordable when Donald Trump was president. Well, let's start with the fact that when Joe Biden and I came in office, it, during the height of a pandemic, we saw over 10 million jobs were lost. Uh, people, I, I mean, literally, we were all tracking the numbers. Hundreds of people a day were dying because of COVID. Um, the economy had crashed. Uh, in large part, all of that because of mismanagement by Donald Trump of that crisis. When we came in, our highest priority was to do what we could to rescue America. And today, we know that we have inflation at under 3%. A lot of our policies have led to the reality that America recovered faster than any wealthy nation around the world. But you are right. Prices, in particular for groceries, are still too high. The American people know it, I know it which is why my agenda includes what we need to do to bring down the price of groceries. For example, dealing with an issue like price gouging, what we need to do to extend the child tax credit to help young families be able to take care of their children in their most formative years, what we need to do to bring down the cost of housing, my proposal includes what would be a tax credit of $25,000 for first-time home buyers, so they can just have enough to put a down payment on a home, which is part of the American dream and their aspiration, but do it in a way that allows them to actually get on the path to achieving that goal and that dream. So you have been vice president for three and a half years. Yeah. The steps that you're talking about now, why haven't you done them already? Well, first of all, we had to recover as an economy, and we have done that. I'm very proud of the work that we have done that has brought inflation down to less than 3%. The work that we have done to cap the cost of insulin at $35 a month for seniors. Donald Trump said he was going to do a number of things, including allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices. Never happened. We did it. When we do what we have done to invest in the American people and bringing manufacturing back to the United States so that we created over 800,000 new manufacturing jobs, bringing business back to America, what we have done to improve the supply chain so we're not relying on foreign governments to supply American families with their basic needs, I'll say that that's good work. There's more to do, but that's good work. I want to get... So she did agree that the economy was running better under Trump. My question is, if the economy was running better under Trump, why should we elect you with your new plan for the economy when we could just put back Donald Trump in office so he could run back the good economy that he had? Bringing back manufacturing jobs back to the United States, isn't that a Donald Trump policy as well? All the talks are that she's vice president, she can't do anything, and every all the policies that's going on now, it's basically Biden's. Why should we implement you and your new policies if the other policies that worked was from Biden? Are you going to implement the same policies, or are you going to have your own? Let me know what you guys think.